Here you can see that I've got a model and I've machined it, very basic, just a square and I'm cutting a profile, so I'm cutting this part out. Now I want to explain what safe Z and home Z moves are. So if I turn on my toolpath and then rotate around, you can see the toolpath is in red and you can also see this blue line here or these two blue lines here. Now what this is doing is it's starting here. So that's my home Z and then it's coming along to here, which is my safe Z. So safe Z is basically where the tool retracts to so it can move to another part of the job. So let's say, for instance, it's doing some islands, internal pockets. It can move on to the next bit without gouging into the material. Home Z will be where the job starts and where it finishes if you specify to do that. So let's open up the profile and take a look at my settings. So you can see down here under options, we've got Safe Z and we've got Home. So if I open that up, you can see that Safe Z is set to one inch. So let's change that to be, let's say 0.2 inches and then calculate it. So what happens now is this is at one inch and then it comes down to the start point, which is 0.2 above the job. So now when I do something that's internal, it will jump up to 0.2 and then move over to the next part of the job. If I want to change the home Z, let's say that I wanted that to be smaller, let's say half an inch, just change the home Z to half an inch and then calculate now. And that will then change just the home Z. Now, if I wanted to add a park position, let's say, for instance, so I wanted the CNC to move out of the way once I'd finished cutting, what I could do is add a home X and a home Y if I wanted to. Just show you what happens here. So if I click Calculate now, you can see it moves to this corner. If I wanted to make it maybe longer in the Y, let's say for instance, let's make that 24 inches and calculate. You can see it then moves over to here. And this allows you to get your job basically off the machine. Now, the only word of warning with this is that when it starts, it will start at this point as well, which shouldn't be a problem if you've finished at that point because it should start at the same point. But if you've maybe moved the job to maybe change your tool, let's say for instance, then just a word of warning, it will come back to this point when it starts. So that's how you use Safe Z and the home positions.